Blessed is the Father Muller campus, touched by your feet and blessed by your hand. The cry of Jesus on the cross, I thirst, expressing the depth of God's longing for man, penetrated Mother Teresa's soul and found fertile soil in her heart. Pope John Paul II on 19th October 2003 On 4th September 2016, the Saint of the Poor, Mother Teresa, has been canonized and rightly granted the status of the saint that she had truly been in her lifetime. Inter Santos Pia Devotioni Recole Devere in Nomine Patris et Fili. Mother Teresa was a unique influence on the world whose efforts have truly redefined the meaning of service with love. Born as Agnes Gongsa Bojaxiu on August 27th. 1910 in Yugoslavia, Mother Teresa spent a major portion of her childhood around missions. At 18, Agnes found her calling and decided to follow the path that seems to have been unconsciously before her always. She chose the Loreto Sisters Congregation of Dublin in 1928. One year later, in 1929, Agnes was sent to Darjeeling to the novitiate of the Sisters of Loreto. In 1931, she made her first vows there, choosing the name of Teresa. She was sent to St. Mary's, a high school for girls in a district of Calcutta, where she began a career in teaching history and geography. The locality was one of the poorest. Every day, she saw lepers, destitutes, diseased men and women, unwanted children dying on the streets. While she taught the daughters of the wealthy, her heart went out to the poor and Teresa's new vocation to her second calling grew. She began her work amongst destitute on August 18, 1948. She had to be released formally from living within the convent of the Sisters of Loreto. She had to confront the church's resistance to forming new religious communities and receive permission from the Archbishop of Calcutta to serve the poor openly on the streets. However, in her quiet but determined manner, she proceeded to win her way through. Pope Pius XII allowed her to be a religious under the Archbishop of Calcutta. She learned nursing and many of her former pupils joined her in the services of refugees and the destitute. In 1950, she found the home for the dying near the Kali Temple in Calcutta. From their birth in Calcutta, Nourished by the compassion and commitment of Mother Teresa, the missionaries of the charity grew rapidly. She and her congregation constantly brought smiles to people who had lost the dignity of love and hope. Numerous honors came her way, both from Indian and international governments in her 69 years of service. On the 28th December 1980, the Blessed Mother of the Poor graced the Father Muller's campus during the final day of the centenary celebration of the Father Muller Charitable Institution. People from near and far, rich and poor, mile to the hospital for a glimpse of Mother Teresa the Apostle of Peace. In a fitting ceremony, 
Pascal de Souza, a small boy crippled by leprosy, garlanded Mother Teresa at the welcome ceremony. Father P. S. Narona, director of the Father Muller's Hospital, presented the centenary report and traced the history of the growth of the institution from 1880 to 1980. Mother Teresa honored Dr. P. Venkata Rao and Dr. V. V. Modi for their continuous service and dedication to the hospital. She was extremely pleased to honor as many as 63 employees who had put in more than 25 years of service in this hospital. In a moving speech that stirred everyone in the crowd, Mother Teresa began with a prayer in the name of the Father Muller, who, like her, had spent his life in the service of the poor. She reminded the congregation, he loved the world, that his love and compassion was being shown to the hands of Father Muller. Also today, let us thank our poor who have accepted Father Muller's work of love. Mother Teresa said, As Jesus had dictated, Love as I have loved you. Love another as I have loved you. By this love for one another, they will know that you belong to me. And today, when we have gathered here to thank God for all the love that has been shown and given in His place, let us make one strong resolution that is, in this town of Mangalore, we will not allow a single person to feel unwanted, unloved, uncared for. For I think that more than leprosy, tuberculosis or cancer, the feeling of being unwanted, unloved and uncared for, of having forgotten what human love is, what is human touch or a human smile is a much greater disease. She believed that the poor are the salvation to mankind and one could get to know them through prayer. The fruit of prayer is faith and the fruit of faith is love and the fruit of love is service. She concluded in her speech in a soft prayer that went out to one and all. My prayer for you is that you grow more and more in the likeness of God. In the likeness of Christ through love and compassion and through humility and simplicity. May God bless you. Mother Teresa graced the Father Muller's campus once more in 1992 for a short while. Our current director, Father Patrick, had the privilege of meeting Mother Teresa during his service at St. John's. I alone cannot change the world, but I can throw a stone in the waters and God can create waves from the ripples that I create. This is what has happened in the world. God threw a stone in the world in the person of Mother Teresa and created waves in the field of service, love and love for the downtrodden in the world. The service of Mother Teresa has been so electrifying that she created ripples in the hearts of the people. I had the chance of meeting her personally at St. John's when she visited our institution and the waves that she created, the impression that she made and the desire that she created in our hearts to emulate her was really unique and wonderful. Only Mother Teresa alone could do it probably in this world. Today, she is declared as a saint in the church and we fondly remember her visit to this institution as chief guest in the year 1980 and the excitement that she created, the motivation that she gave and the inspiration that she sowed 
in this institution and in the city of Mangalore is a abiding legacy for all of us to emulate. Father Muller's institution celebrates the canonization of Mother Teresa as a steady beacon of love and compassion in times when mankind has given up all hopes of the same. By a strange coincidence, both Father Muller and Mother Teresa had startling similarities. Both came from Europe to make India their home. Both began as teachers and took their pupils as their first assistants. Leprosy relief was their first love. Both personally cleaned the wounds of leprosy patients. Both never refused admission to the poor. Both strived to give back to the poor their dignity of life. Their generosity, good wishes and attachment in health and illness continues to inspire the hospital to blaze greater trails. Saint Teresa, hereafter and forever in love and service.